I'm Zico Pekuni. Thinking when I'm talking about painting, there's also how the history of the medium itself, how it goes to Indonesia and everything. So I'm kind of obsessed with it. I, when talking about paintings, of course, the, it's come with a long history, uh, how I interact with the coloniality, colonialism, how it's coming from the Western idea about art and how it, it was uh, really going in, inside, uh, embedded to people in Indonesia. It's easier to talk about paintings rather than talking about art. And it could be traced also goes to the more indie, uh, the, the landscape paintings that was very popular uh, and still until now become a, a, an, an established idea about art in, for people in Indonesia. It's kind of like an anecdote. Uh, I'm kind of saying like it's jokingly like I cannot, I don't understand art, but I can make this gambar pemandangan, which is is a painting basically. And from that obsession, it's starting growing because I think like it's it's make art. Uh, I mean like as an art form, I think painting is very humble. It's easy to 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 touch with the people and also uh, trading objects. Uh, that is. When I see it as a trading object, I can trace it back to the how the mobility and the mobility of a paintings. That's why also it's easier in the first trade when we're using paintings, painting as an advertising as an advertisement. I always thought like that. This landscape paintings of Indonesia brought back to the Netherlands as the, an advertising in that time. This time for me is very exciting. This is the time when we can read easily. I mean, like access and read to everything, to anything, uh, by internet, by anything. And we also in the time when we can control our own narrative by what we see and what we can record easily and publish it because of the internet it's again. And that's giving a big opportunity to renegotiate the perspective, a perspective of how we're thinking a uh, paradigm before and how we, because now we, we have this access, we, have, we can also like very actively uh, particip participate in, in how we uh, seeing things and recording things and publish it. It's become a very interesting time. Usually started as simple as a conversation. Uh, it could be like conversation with friends in my home in my studio. Usually, like when the conversation is really, really kind of like uh, uh, making me really grasp the idea, it start building a curiosity and trying to experiment. Like, how about to really trying to doing a research about it? And I always had my camera, had my phones taking pictures or scanning things and and recreated the, uh, everything from that. I'm also like obsessed with pigmen and the history of pigmen and how the stories of pigmen being traded in, in, the, in, in our civilization and how it created civilization. And luckily, uh, a lot of uh, in artists in Indonesian art history are still alive so I can really meet them talking to them. A lot of the times I'm really asking their permission to, can I tell their stories in my paintings? That is kind of like a never ending uh, stories. G giving a tribute an old, an old day to, the, to the, the other artists is kind of like my joy. Especially when I'm doing my paintings uh, by myself, that's giving me a lot of time to really reflecting, to evaluating and trying to be emotionally connected, I think, uh, to just not just as an information of his stories, of stories. This is basically the studio, nothing much. Then when I'm making big works, uh, it's in this alleyway. So that's all.